Hey there, welcome back. Marius here and today we have Icarus with week 15 update The Hunt. Don't mind if I sound like garbage because I'm a little bit sick, but that's that no one cares, okay? So we have an update. So weekly update is here. I will divide the video. First I will go through the patch notes, read them out so you can follow it up. Then I'll jump in the game and show what the rewards are and a little bit more what you can't find in patch notes and then a little bit about mission itself, just so you know. So yeah, it's all about hunt and gathering more meat, different meat. Not going to read all a lot of words and explanation. I will give you everything you need to know. Let's scroll down, new missions, two, two missions, and so detailed, detailed log, because there's everything what is written above, just in nicely manner, one after another. So, what we have is added drying rack. Now it's a new proce processing structure that allows to basically process meat. That's kind of obvious. Then a new types that replace uh, prime meat. Now we have stingray meat, white meat, fatty, t-bone, giant stick, game meat, soft meat. You don't need to learn all the names, it's simple. There are way more variables of meat on top of the same casual meat we were gathering as well. So basically there's a meat you will always gather and this is the rare uh, addition meat in every type of animals besides fish. From fish you don't get anything new. And also, yeah, I, I added bacon. Bacon is from boars. I don't know why it's a separate line. It's the same as, anyways, you get the idea. A lot more new meats. Added new dried meats that offer new buffs, such as dried white meat. Well, all the meats I read about are a, a little bit above. You can now, uh, using the drying rack, dry out and get new types of meat. So the new meat can be cooked or it can be dried. So that's the new thing. Uh, also added two new missions on earth uh, research and cryogenic research. Cryogenic, cryogenic, okay. Anyways, two new missions added new cave worm items. So we have knife, arrow, spear and bow, four items. Uh, that can be unlocked if you complete the mission unearth unearthed mission. So this is unearthed research. I will show you That's the mission must be done when you finish it then the recipes are just given to you. They're not showing in the all the uh, tech tree if you are wondering So added new poison sack dropped from cave worms also actually scales, but I don't know why it's not mentioned here. So two new items dropped from uh, cave worms. You need them to craft these new items. Added new AI improvements such as more dynamic target selection from aggressive AI and natural buffalo now has charge attack. I haven't actually faced any buffaloes but that's on my list now. Cave worms now drop cave worm remain mesh Remains mesh when killed. Okay. Two new items. I don't know what the hell is remain mesh, but okay. Uh, fixed rain reservoir filling up when sheltered. Crash. Fi fixed crash uh, that can occur when you weather was updating. Yes, when the storm kick in, it's sometimes when you are but game just crash. Also fixed a crash that occur when rain was falling up the rain reservoir okay so now we they also fixed our concrete mixing crafting times previously it was uh with or and without water so 25 seconds one or 20 seconds now it's down to 10 and 5 so basically with water it's four times faster they somehow mixed it up so now it's back to how it was previously it, basically crafts quite fast. The, the mixer is not a problem anymore. Fix some concrete building pieces, not giving refund on deconstruction. And also, yeah, fixed some exotic deposit spawn locations in a lot of missions. So that this is, this is what I was wondering. 
what means fixed so somehow it was not uh, if you have experience just let me now uh, know in the comment section because or they fixed so they are no now random or I don't know I was always expecting the, to exotic deposits spawn randomly and I was quite uh, let down and realized that no it, it's fixed uh, location for each of those missions and I was like that's boring that's like nah anyways uh, let me know if what what's what's the issue if you had an issue with exotic deposits removed incorrect slot information from fridge description weight uh being only 20 grams okay uh fixed pistol not being repairable fixed an issue where some foliage were not visible after loading a new area fixed cave entrance blocker in f11 that's a location in the map not being fully accessible um, removed in world tooltip user interface window effect which could appear distort in some configurations fixed and exploit where a loadout menu more than 15 items could be stacked in dropship cargo inventory this was mentioned in one of my previous um, videos someone mentioned just previously you could just drag and drop more items in the dropship cargo inventory and it will just stack visibly uh, there is no additional fields but uh, from the comment I, I understood it's like just drag and drop and it would pick up and still carry all the items as much as you want so now it's fixed fixed multiple uh, cases where uh, sub subtitle dialogue did not match the audio fixed some cases where overflow bags bags could spawn under terrain in other objects okay fixed various map issues just more incorrect k voxel placement and floating trees in desert okay uh, added one more cave to south east corner of the map south east okay okay i need to find that cave uh, fixed number of survey locations from 3 to 2 in the description for spirit, spirit level standard and hardcore missions. Okay, fixed some cases where exotics that were placed in dropship did not appear in the station upon completion. Oh boy. Fixed an issue where camera position when interacting with generator was incorrect. Fixed an issue where some rocks and foliage collision weren't working correctly. Fixed an issue where window and door were were using the incorrect sound of their position okay whatever that means but added limits to how many trees can be fallen over the storm at one time to address performance implications so this this i was wondering it's it sounds good for uh, performance issues but when there's a real storm and the black black is i think the hub the absolute nightmare in if if in that time exactly the same amount of trees will be dropping it's like what, what's the difference then I'm a, I'm a little bit worried this will rob us from real storm experience that's the only issue I have fixed an issue where some buildings were not reloading uh, when built above caves fixed an issue where the deployables were not sometimes uh, would sometimes disappear until reload Fixed an issue where swimming animations could be distorted based on what was equipped. Uh, fixed an issue where previous radar scan were not visible upon rejoining a prospect. I think I have experienced it. Yeah, it's, it's a huge problem. It was a long time ago. Fixed an issue where valid fuel, fuel could, <laughs> could be deleted from device inventory if an invalid fuel was present in the fuel slot such as sulfur. Okay, sulfur basically could override already totally viable fuel. Okay, cool, that is fixed. Added unique audio for falling burn trees. I think this was also in the previous patch notes where the falling burn trees were sound was updated, so what what gives? Anyways, fixed an issue where the level cap of 50 wasn't being reflef reflected in Steam Rich Presence. Fixed not being able to refund talent points if you try to refund one multiple unlocked prerequisites and fixed cave worms not taking critical hit damage i have uh, worries about this one because i think every time anywhere you hit a cave worm currently it counts as critical i think i 
and I killed a lot of them for this one mission and I think they have a little bit overdone themselves but just saying fixed extraction drilling animation not looping correctly removed hidden mesh from arctic exotic deposits causing bad collision so why I'm reading all this because at the bottom there's some actually cool points made water pump automatically turn on when connected to active power network so yes if you had any problems or you just change the biofuel in your generator for some period the electricity just there's interruptions and every time you had to go and turn water pump back it was mm, thank you thank you thank you those little things that's that's super nice fixed and sugar players could not manually water crops so manually watering crops there's that's a thing it was introduced uh yeah it's fixed cool 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 so let me jump in the game i will uh put a timestamp so you can switch between patch notes and and all the other things so let's not waste time and let me show you the first thing is when you join the game and i'm just showing the mission the mission you are looking for is that far right side basically at the top end where everyone knows the spirit walk right so now this beneath is unearth research it already says newly discovered recipe analysis so this mission must be completed like i have to have those new items right so <clears throat> now let's jump a little bit not back actually forward because this currently my character is already down on the mission and it is there so let me show you what we have we have new meat we have new dry uh, drying rack and we have cave worms now dropping items where you can craft them so basically those are the few new things let me show you and i'll, I'll, I'll start with uh, the rewards okay we have a knife, a bow, arrow, and spear. Four items that are newly introduced in the game. And they are a little bit above casual bone items. Everything fine, everything fine, yes. Let me just turn this. Oh, why the... Okay, let me turn on the light. So first things... Uh, okay, let's start with drying rack because in my opinion this is the best thing in the game It is not needed to have any any Workbench, it's just you can craft anywhere and it, as far as I can tell you can place it also outside I have this little bit over because I was worried in the rain it would not dry the meat But I don't think it's the case so here are, as you can see, the, the giant steak and fatty T-bone and soft meat. These are all the new meats. These are the rare on top of the casual meat. And if you are paying attention, you can see there is the, the casual meat. What was the name? Just the meat. It's not there. Only the rare meat can be dried here. And as you can see, I have some of them. These pretty uh, cool bonuses. As you can see, maximum stealth. Yeah, you can see. You will check out. The thing is to mention here: they last for 1,200 seconds. So this is the second level from in the food chain. If you are looking in the um, campfire, for example, then the basic meat, the raw meat. Where is it? Cooked meat. You see. Uh, that lasted for 900 900 seconds yes whatever minutes it is it's just 900 so it is second level food in generally and if you take a look in in your campfire you find you can find the same new meats and they when you cook them they are a little bit different they last for the same amount and generally speaking they have one additional bonus so it is from one side better to cook them because you have more bonus but what game does not tell you but i'm telling you let me show you the best ever bonus there is in this meat uh, 
lasts for 1200 that's all cool but please pay attention i will eat this one consume look how long it stays without spoiling five freaking thousand seconds i'm not even converting that in minutes it is insane amount it basically finally we have a food that is not spoiling faster than you can eat it i am all the mission literally living only on those rare, rare items you see my buffs on that side i recently ran out of the third type of the meat just go out and hunt something someone uh anything anything you hunt will drop one kind of these uh, rare items I hunted around 10, 10, 10 15 uh, animals until there is a drop. And when there's a drop, it comes in huge batches. Basically 15 meat, the rare meat uh, in, in Seda. So the rare meat is not in every uh, animal you hunt, but when it's, when it's there, it's a lot of it. And then you just dry it out and just run around and it's super, 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 absolutely insanely cool. So, next up we have an items. Why the hell they are moved? Uh, let me. I, I'm just showing you. Uh, I have a bone knife, bone spear, bone arrow, and longbow. They are all in equal level. Then the next one we have cave worm bow. So you see, difference is 25 projectile damage. The next one has 50 projectile damage. So the bow is improvement. And then the next one is recursive bow. Recurve bow, sorry. With the same project uh, projectile damage actually. Which requires way sophisticated items to be built. So this is a nice in between before you have any metal or anything. You don't need any metals or stuff. And the same goes for uh, bone arrow. You have I have projectile damage up to 60. This has exactly the same damage but 100% chance to poison with attack so the same damage just to poison and if we are looking at one next possible arrow to build this is a flint arrow it is better higher damage so it is as I said right above the casual bone arrow so for bone spear we have again uh, let's take a look at projectile damage 225 10 percent critical when we mouse over you see exactly the same with additional poison so cool and one step ahead iron spear is the next one significantly better because yeah that's the next tier and the last one is bone knife uh, bone knife ha gives you 150 skinning which is lower than yeah iron knife 200 and cave worm knife lands in between it has 175 which is again worse if you come with the knife from the orbit right so eh. but it's a nice addition because there is a huge gap when you don't have any metal yet and rely on bone and let me give you the why i'm quite excited about them the Probably the knife is the least one I would be so excited, but so far I run around with the bone spear. Actually, I took this bone spear out of my action bar and I usually use this. So this additional um, poison might be okay, but that's not the core bonus of it, right? The core bonus um, for these items, you need the first workbench. They can be crafted on the field so take a look at the spear wood leather and these warm scales and poison sacks these are from the worms right so basically and remember the, those worms they respawn so just find a cave go in and you will find they drop around two poison sacks and four two to four worm scale quite a lot to be honest okay so this spear in my opinion is how to explain cheaper yes cheaper because the most crucial uh item oh yeah i have reduced uh this is my sp uh, spear uh damn it this is not correct amount of items i'm using because this is my spear uh build this is my spear character that has reduced them um 
but still i'm just showing you casually it uses 25 bone 24 bone right even with my uh, um talent bonuses and 24 and if you look at this one it is uses 10 and 10 it's I, hard to explain better i will explain where i'm not uh, there is no impact from my talent points so caveworm arrow pay attention you build 10 arrows 10 arrows straight with five stick five leather two worm, worm scale and five poison sacks the damage of course the same as as was the same right yeah 60 and additional poisons poison stuff so basically the same plus poison almost and here two warm scale and five poison sack for 10 arrows let me just remind you the bone 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 arrow you needed five bone which is quite a lot one leather for one arrow so for if you made them in a batches 10 arrows that would be 10 sticks 10 leather 50 bone that's a lot when here these arrows i think in my opinion this this is the best addition because uh if you remember my other videos i rely on bone arrows until the end of the game because you can improve the damage by getting better um be better bow but there's no actually how to say the the cost of arrows the iron the steel the titanium and all them they cost too much to to ju justify to waste these valuable ma materials so these caveworm arrows so cool and just a reminder uh if, if you run around with longbow so now the damage is right away from 25 projectile damage up to 50 projectile damage so we have a better bow which is significant well twice twice as uh, good uh, and which is well the same <laughs> same as recur bow just with cheap materials then we have arrows which you craft in batches so it's super cheap uh, spear not so excited and as i said if you're coming from the orbit with your own knife then this knife will not play any role in, in your new setup so that's about those four items now last last thing yes last thing okay, let's spend the night a last thing uh just a mission mission itself if you want to explore for your uh, on your own this is basically a spoiler warning i will show you where what's what's why it's lagging oh my God. so about the mission everyone who wanted to explore the mission yourself hopefully uh, left the video so we have you land there you need to come over here and basically everything oh my god why i'm such a where's my lantern you come down here and you find this little thing analyzer you put few um warm those scales and and uh, poison sacks in it first off 10 and 10 i guess 10 or 15 or something like that and then the next stage kicks in that requires it to be connected to water and electricity so basically the yes you need to craft up to fabricator to get um water pump you don't need uh, those crazy crazy um, furnace and and mo uh, processor and composite composite is not required right but the, the tier 4 fabricator is needed so you can you need to craft the generator and the pump and of course uh, electricity tool and water pipe tool so when that's done this is the fun part when that's done and you connect them and just enable it there will be analyzing process which is quite lengthy and around here right away right here will spawn w those worms they spawn quite frequently so at this point better if you have a decent weapon 
best tactic, of course, as they just crawl out of the ground, arrive, arrive them, and just one hit in the head with titanium knife, for example, and that's it. Once you kill it, of course, you can loot it. When you're done looting at that point, next worm will spawn up. And proceed until it's done. At that point, when you will already collect it, on top of all the other worms you already killed in caves, you will be tasked to build those new four items. Once you build them, mission is done. I'm just showing how much you will get. I'm at the end of the mission. This is how much I get while gathering all the other resources, building up this, this basement, which is base, which is kind of as, as, as much as you need, just the basic things. So yeah, these, these worm scales, they, I'd say, is quite fast. You can get them, and the poison sucks, as you can see, they drop uh, ha about half of the times as, as worm scales. And that's it, business. You can see this is the mission done. Just recently done it. Uh, now I just need to get back to the ship. I'm not going to look for exotics, I guess, because, yeah, why would I? Uh, one additional note I wanted to just add here. I don't know why the video is lagging a little bit. Uh, previously, I was super excited to have new updates for the farming, right? Now you have the tools and everything. But the thing is... The thing is... Now, with the food, which spoils still really fast compared to the dried meat. And the dried meat, as you can see, there's six different types. So you can easily have three of your slots of the stomach, or four even if you have the bonus. You can have all of them filled up with these rare things. So in my opinion, I'm just thinking out loud, this update, this balance, literally killed all the farming and everything. Because the spoiling food is always the issue. Look at this. I'm still... I can run around with this one stack of items. It's just super awesome cool. Okay? So, when you have three types of food and you have three stomach slots, why would you waste anything? time, resources, crafting, building, for anything else. If this basic drying rack can be built from scratch without even a, t a, t a table, it's insanely awesomely cool, but if that's balancing, then, then I'm, I'm a ballerine. All right, don't need to make video any longer. I see the problem is water too high quality and my videos start lagging so not going to show you water all right thanks for watching if you have any questions okay just for you because you're awesome you're watching the video until the end not like these others who just skip and and turn off in the middle i'll give you one extra bonus don't tell anyone else okay don't tell i i told you so what i found is a little trick you see what i did here i don't know for what reason but this seed slot, there, ah, my big head, you see, will not spoil. So I don't have a refrigerator and I'm not intending to have one. But as long as you have a crop field, any crop field, it seems like you can absolutely easy store items and they will never ever spoil. They will fix it eventually, but until then, enjoy your never ever spoiling vegetable slot. Sounds cool, right? All right, cool. Now you are amazing. And I'm finishing the video. Thank you for watching. We'll meet in other videos. Cheers and goodbye.